Guys, my name is Totally Gamer Jet, and today I'm going to be telling you how to set up a LilyPad network on your Mac. So this took me a while, actually, guys. It took me a really long time because I am not used to Mac at all. Um, so yeah, I did figure it out though. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is like I like to be organized. So you probably want to do make a folder to put it in, and we're going to call this Mac LilyPad tutorial you can call it whatever you want it doesn't really matter um yes yeah, so then you want to open it and then you want to create two folders in here one of them you're going to call servers this is where you're going to store all your servers and then the other one you were going to call lily pad and that is what you will use to store all your proxy and your connect so today we are only going to be getting the supplies for everything so uh so we won't be doing any configuration but we'll do that next episode so yeah don't worry guys so the first thing you need to download is you need to download the server connect dash connect darwin and if you have a 32-bit i don't think you if you do if you have a 32-bit you want to get the 386 one and if you have a 64 get this one i have a 64 so i would get this one i'm pretty sure i have it here uh no i don't okay so <laughs> i'm gonna download that so yeah you're going to download that and then you want to go to go server proxy and you want to download the Darwin one two. So then, while that's downloading, you want to also get bucket dash connect, and then you want to do download that. This is what's going to connect your server to the connect and the proxy, and yeah. So then you want to download portal bucket dash portal and bucket dash portal command. So bucket dash portal is portal so that you can go to different servers using portals, and portal command is slash server and server's name. So yeah, proxy is still downloading, but that's okay. Let's see, okay. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to have to create our servers. So we also we're going to have to download a craft bucket, which I I have somewhere. <laughs> I'm gonna go get that, and I'll be right back. So I got a craft bucket. <laughs> so yeah, it's 1.7.10. There is a 1.8, but uh, I can't figure out how to get it with the Mac. So. Um, yeah, if you, you might not know what I mean, but it's okay. So, I, we're going to name this bucket, because it'll be the easiest. And then we want to do is to create, um, open up text edit, okay? All computers have it. Then you want to go to format, make plain text, and then you'll have it just like this, and it should look like this. And then you want to go get the command. So you want to get the command, this command, this command will be in the description, and I'm just going to rename it to bucket, because that's what we are calling it. Then you want to save it as, okay? And then you want to go to your file, which I put it in desktop, MacLipad servers, and then we're going to call it start.command. Okay? Save. And then you will get a shell file right here. So, if we were to double click this, it will say because you don't have appropriate access privileges. So, to fix this, what we are going to have to do is go and open our terminal. And what we want to what we have to do is write chmod plus x and then we want to drag in this file and then click enter. Oh, shoot. Okay, give me a second. All I missed was the a. <laughs> but one a makes a big difference. So yeah, then you want to drag it in, and then you want to click enter, and now you should have permissions. So if we double click this, we will say we will say no main manifest attribute in bucket.jar. Uh, okay, I don't know why that is. So I'm just gonna get in a different bucket.jar. Okay, guys, so I got a new one, and oh, I closed open too many. Uh, so now you can see that it is opening. So I don't know what was with that other one. Uh, but yeah. So now it's going to start up a server, but we should probably cancel that before. Oh, never mind. Too late. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder, and we're going to call this just call this one. Oh, okay, so just rename this server to call one. One. And then you want to drag, like, everything, and then... Yeah, drag everything into it. And then we want to just drag it into place and clean everything up. So, well, now we're going to do is we are going to go into our uh, plugin or plugins folder and we're going to drag in what we have downloaded so we downloaded this oh, okay we download this bucket dash connect bucket dash portal 
and bucket dash portal command and then if you want to clean it up you can clean it up so then we are going to run the server and it's going to create all the config files we're not going to do anything with that but we are going to create the config files so that it can do so that we can it'll be ready for next time so don't worry about that it's just you know, it's an area error for uh enabling it is it's it's fine uh so Okay, so as you can see, it has created the f config files. Oh, oh god. So it has created the config files, so it's okay. Everything's working now. And then you want to select this. Oh god. This, this, and the plugins folder. And where was that? Plugins folder. Okay, and plugins folder. And you're going to control uh, command C and copy it. Then you're going to create a new server 2. And then a new folder three and this is these are going to be hub survival and creative so then you want to just paste in these and then you want to go in the next one paste in those and then you can start up those and you should be good on that okay guys so yeah we have created oh not this one <laughs> we have created our lily pad server and yeah if we open this and we have our servers and our lily pad oh oh we forgot to put that in so we're going to drag in the proxy which i don't know exactly what that, oh I'm, i didn't get the proxy so we are going to get the proxy as well so then what you want to do is drag your uh proxy and connect into the lily pad folder you can clean it up and yeah so this is really all you're going to be able to do for today because you will not be able to run these uh these files because the, if you try to run them much, I'll show you open. First of all, it says this, which I just say okay. And then it opened, but it's not running anything. See, nothing's running. So I'm going to teach you how to make these executable files so that you can just double click them and you'll be able to start up your proxy and your connect and they will create their config, config files in the right spot because I also ran into the problem of it spawning in here should probably delete those um but yeah so guys see uh if you have any problems with setting up getting your stuff together or you can't find something or stuff please tell me and i'll help you hopefully i do respond i am like always online checking my comments and yeah hopefully you'll enjoy thanks for watching goodbye